Let us talk about the derivative of secant and cosecant. If y is secant of x, it can be written as 1 over cosine of x. Now we can start taking the derivative using, for example, the quotient rule. You can flip this and have negative sign as well, but let us use the quotient rule. The derivative of 1 is 0 times cosine of x minus 1 times the derivative of cosine divided by cosine squared of x. y prime is equal to 0 times cosine x minus the derivative of cosine is negative sine divided by cosine squared of x. So y prime becomes 0 minus minus plus sine x divided by cosine squared of x. Guys, simplify this. This can be written as sine x divided by cosine x times 1 over cosine x. Sine divided by cosine is tangent by definition. And 1 over cosine is secant of x. So if you have secant of x, the derivative of secant is secant tangent or tangent secant. The order is not important. With the same argument, we're going to find the derivative of cosecant as well. So if y is equal to cosecant of x, this is 1 over sine of x. Again, you can apply the quotient rule. The derivative of 1 times sine x minus 1 times the derivative of sine divided by sine squared of x. So y prime becomes, this is 0 times sine x minus the derivative of sine is cosine divided by sine squared of x. But this is going to be 0. y prime becomes negative cosine x divided by sine squared of x, which is 12 negative cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x, which is nothing but negative cotangent of x times cosecant of x. So if y is cosecant of x, then the derivative y prime becomes negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x.